Thank you for agreeing to do this interview as part of my history class at Sacramento City College. As part of this class, we are acting as working historians by doing this interview. Our goal is to create a record of the COVID era because we know this will be seen as a historic moment in the future. I have a few questions for you. Let's begin. Okay. <laughs> Did you experience, experience a transition from in-person to online during COVID? Yeah, I did. So um, it was my senior year of high school when I transitioned from um, on, like offline, obviously, to like in person from like to like online. Um, it was like really weird. It was during spring break. Like I just assumed that we were just going to have like a two week spring break and it ended up being the rest of the year and, and so on. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I did have like a really big transition and all my classes went from in person to online and all my teachers, some of my teachers didn't even offer Zoom meetings. Like mm -hmm. my classes, I really didn't do anything after spring break mm -hmm. happened except for just like little assignments here and there and that mm -hmm. was about it. Uh, how did that affect your ability to learn? It affected it a lot. Um, I was taking some AP classes too during that time and I also had to do the AP exams online as well and I just I just think my scores really showed mm -hmm. how little learning that I got after um, like spring break and after COVID happened. I didn't really feel like I was remembering any of the information and I didn't really, I just felt like I was just trying to finish my senior year and just be done with online. Mm -hmm. That ended up being still now into college, my second year, so, mm -hmm. yeah. How did going through COVID change your routine on a daily basis? Um, so COVID really affected me. Um, also, sports-wise, I was doing club volleyball, too. And my routine was, um, like, I'd go to, like, wake up in the morning, go to school, and after school, I would go to volleyball and then do homework. Um, volleyball got canceled, so I didn't have any more club volleyball after that. Um, school, I would just wake up around like really late compared to like how I used to because school was on the computer and so I didn't have to change, I didn't have to dress, so mm -hmm. I literally was in my PJs all day long and that was my routine. Um, that was it and no volleyball, not a lot of activity after mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. Did COVID change the way you connect with friends, family, classmates, and community? Yeah, so I really wasn't, I wasn't able to hang out with anybody during COVID. Um, my parents didn't let me hang out with any friends except for one of my friends and my, um, my ex-boyfriend. Like, they were the only two people I were allowed to see during that time of COVID, especially like the first three months of like being like locked down, you know? Um, I didn't really talk to any fellow classmates. I didn't like talk to my friends other than through like Snapchat. Mm -hmm. That was it. Um, teachers I had no communications after with. Like it just felt very um, disconnected. Mm -hmm. I only had like two people I really talked to and that was like it. Mm -hmm. Very lonely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, role did, what role did social media and the news play in your experiences during COVID? Um, social media helped me um, like see my friends like via the internet um see what other people are doing um the in internet um and like the news I think really affected like made me scared about COVID like I was really worried about COVID and I was really scared to get it um and I just I think the news definitely affected everybody's perspective on it especially if like you're watching like a more conservative or liberal news site mm -hmm. I think that would have really changed people's view on COVID too mm -hmm. so I think it was really impactful mm -hmm. yeah. how do you think going through COVID has shaped you as an as an individual for instance who were you before March 2020 and who are you now what changed um before March 2020 I was going through my senior year of high school I was wanting to have like all these like fun experiences, go through all these fun things, and then now I'm like sophomore in college, like second year, and um, definitely would say I've changed a lot. I've done a lot to my hair. Um, <laughs> um, I've gone through lots of phases. I I did go through cutting my own bangs at one point as well <laughs> during um quarantine, <laughs> um, but I think it's helped me grow 
as a person and also realize like how how like unexpected like life can be and different things and I think it's made me more adaptable as a person as well um I would I would just it's changed a lot and a lot of things that I never expected to happen expected and I think it's it's allowed me to give myself um more grace as well as just like letting things happen and letting it roll off you know like not being so stick stuck to a plan you know mm -hmm. like and I think that's been really helpful oh. yeah how did going through COVID change the way you think about the future um going through COVID like it, it made me realize how un like unexpectable things can be and unpredictable um COVID has allowed me, I think, to be more playful, not be so serious about life. Um, I think the biggest thing is just like, I wanna make sure that I'm enjoying every moment that I'm experiencing and just um, not being stuck on a certain path and just being like, hey, I've got this, like just going through day by day and not looking at grand scheme of things because you don't really know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's allowed me to be more like loose. I feel like I was very like strict and like in my own shell, like plans, plans, plans. I still think I'm like that, but it's allowed me to grow as a person and be like, hey, like that's okay. What can I do next? And like, how can I enjoy this moment? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing your thoughts and your time. I'm going to end this interview in just a moment. This project for my history class is part of a collaboration with Stanford University and their Life in Quarantine Global Archives. If you approve, our interview will be housed online, so we would, so we would be online content creators. If you do not want this interview to be shared, it would only go to my professor, Holly uh, Piscopo, from Sacramento City College and a Stanford Fellow this year. If you'd like to ask questions, I can give you her contact information. Are you comfortable with this being online? Yes, yeah, yeah, I am. All right. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. You're welcome. And that is the end.